Professor Pat Utomi, when BC get the Center for Values and Leadership, they call to end the plenty of and social injustice for Nigeria. He do this call ahead of the sister by Anwar Godi Jidema Foundation annual lecture, when BC they say it will happen later this month with popular Kenya anti wururu crusader Professor Lumumba. At the center of modernity, at the center of the whole essence of democratic tradition is the quality of public conversation that takes place in a society. Now, the public sphere is the arena of rational public conversation. And society's growth is fundamentally a function of the quality of that rational public conversation. And one of the tragedies of the African condition is that we don't, we've not created public spheres. We've not created marketplaces of ideas. Conversation is abuse on Twitter. <laughs> ethnic abuse, any kind of abuse. And, and we have a duty in, in seeking to elevate our democracy to create that platform uh, for public conversation. And part of what the Goddard Demo Foundation is trying to do with this lecture series is really to elevate that marketplace of ideas, the public sphere, and very importantly, to uh, add to rational public conversation. And one of those who tried very hard with passion to do this on the continent is uh, Pierlo Lumumba. And it will be interesting to see how uh, we as an elite engage him in Nigeria. Utomi say the government fight against Wururu, it be like tongue when they say he did form out. Challenges with the Nigerian experience is that Nigeria is often re referred to as a recursive context, a re recursive economy, a recursive, you know, a recursive two steps forwards, three steps backwards, and all of that. Uh, obviously, you can look at many things when you assess the um, struggle with corruption, I'd like to say, rather than fight against. Uh, I think, more importantly, systems, putting systems in place that reduce discretion, do more than just looking for who to arrest and uh, put on trial. Uh, all in all, I think the body language has not been very good. I think there's a general public perception that people in public life are very corrupt. A lot of ministers are very corrupt. So why talk about corruption when you are loaded full of people?